You asked me once about this memory. I lied. I told you it was lost. I worried the wrong lesson would be learned. But this man lived many lives, and he has much to teach us. Of course, when he came to us, he was little more than a common thief, scrambling to survive on the streets of Baghdad, dreaming of a better future, not just for himself, but for all those he saw suffering on the margins. For while he lived in a golden age, at the heart and the height of the Abbasid Caliphate, scratch its gilded surface and you'd find a rot beneath. The Order of the Ancients fought to rise and spread their cruelty through the land. The Hidden Ones, as we were known then, resisted, striking at our enemy from the shadows, an eternal struggle. Centuries ago, he was at its heart, Basim ibn Ishaq. He honored the creed, he challenged it, so must we. We have it in all of us to mistake the shadows we walk for the light we serve. The time may come when we will be tested as he was. I fear that time is coming soon. Basim, breathe. Was it the Jinni again? And what did our friend want this time? To strip the flesh from my bones? Dine on my innards? Never has much to say, yet it leaves its mark. I can still feel it crawling on my skin. Hardly original. You should tell it as much. Forget the Jinni for the moment. The day is new. There is work to be done. Durwish has left another contract. Who for? Them again? We would make more money selling water to a camel. <sighs> Come, Nihal. Where is your sense of duty? Duty does not fill our bellies. No, but it does enrich the soul. I will be outside. It takes but a few simple tools to build the greatest of mosques. I hope you continue to share your wisdom, Father, wherever you are. Kick up some sand, Basim. Cheap jewels and tarnished coins. The spoils of a rogue's life. You said we have a contract. Let us honor it. Yes, yes, I am coming. I told Nihal this would be impossible to sell when she stole it, but she could not resist. Wonder what it is about these ancient baubles that fascinates her so.
The sun casts a long shadow. Let us not keep Durwish waiting. I cannot bear another lecture. Come back here, would you? These contracts. It is quite a few Darwish has pushed your way now. He knows I will come through. You have his trust. That much is clear. Do you suppose you have theirs? Shadowy types? I should hope so by now. Then they should show it. You take all the risk and they offer little in return. They are liberators, Nihal, not merchants. Still, the price of liberty should be enough to feed us. About this contract, I do not want you to mistake my words for pestering. I am only looking out for you, Yasadiki. It is no inconvenience to stand up to our oppressors as the Hidden Ones do. 
Do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow? The next Gilgamesh? No. I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people. Only to be slighted and forgotten. But I am honored you think I could reach such heights. I may just aim for them. That is not at all what I said. It is what I heard. Such crowds. Something important must be happening. The Khalifa has been summoned to the Winter Palace. It is surely his wealthy retinue that drives this crowd. to offer donations. Ah, I see your meaning. A little sleight of hand to sharpen our wits. If this contract will not feed us, the Hilafa might as well. That merchant has left his purse on the table. An easy one to begin with. Better leave before they notice. Come here! Ready yourself. I will pick them out. A keen eye and an agile hand. A formidable duo. There, the boisterous one. He must have something of value. Hey, what? What do you... Thief! I need help! Thief here! Hey, you! Call the one! Someone's taking my purse! And over there, by that stall, she's got some coin. Nihal would have gone to Durwishes. I pray she is all right. Oh, 
Hlefa guards need little reason to introduce us to their iron bracers. Hello. Well met. <laughs> Took you long enough. You know, a bath might help you avoid the guards better. Nag me later. Feel <laughs> anything good today? Fahmi. Basim. The Khalifa has arrived with his court. Have you seen them? I have not. Though I did meet some of his merchants at the markets. I saw them up close. Al Mutawakil is much, much larger than I had imagined. A towering man indeed. Of course. He gorges on food served with the finest spices you and I can only hope to one day taste. I heard whispers of an important visit, but I cannot say from whom. I am sworn to secrecy. Let me guess. Hala, the palace guard's daughter. What? How did you know? I know where you really go when you say you are fetching water. She is kind, a good friend to you. And maybe more someday. Oh, Basim. I am serious. She will keep you out of trouble. You could use that. See you, Fahmi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
How is your knee? Much better, Basin. Wrapped it and rested a few days, like you said. Good. So long as each day is better than the last and you take care not to extend yourself, you will recover fine. Has this happened to you before? Is that why you know how to treat it? I am no stranger to scrapes and bumps, but I have learned to prevent them. And so should you, if I may. Your sandals are worn and cannot grip the ground. Your knees are taking the brunt of your movements. We need to find you something better, something that fits. But that part is not so easy. The mosques have plenty. I am sure to find a better pair there, uh, uh, if you will not pass judgment. Ha! Do not look to me. That will be between you and Allah, ya Sadiqi. Vai, 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 vai. Here is the lazy boy. I've been waiting on you. Someone has to plan our meals. <laughs> Hold. Food. I would not flaunt that around the markets. <laughs> Trust me. Go to Zaida's. <laughs> she uses lots of butter. That she does. You look weary. Are you well? It is nothing a little adventure will not fix. What do they need? A shipping ledger at the harbor. It is worth nothing by itself, but the information it contains is valuable to them. This is child's play. Do they not have anything more difficult? I can do more. Never mind your ego. The Khalifa's guards are here in number, and you would do well to remember that. You worry for me more now than when we lived in Baghdad. My worry is the same. I've only grown too old and too tired to hide it. Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. We have not talked about my fee. And we won't. Not until the deed is done. You know how they are. Shocking. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. I saw them with all the soldiers parading into the Winter Palace. Did they have swords and spears? Of course they did. They are soldiers. I'd like to steal a sword or a helmet. Mutia, where has your smile run off to? What has happened? I do not want to talk about it. Ah, but I refuse to leave until you do. We need someone to offset the grouchy winds that billow from Durwish's quarters. Is he responsible for the clouds that hang above you? He shouted at me, called me a harebrained miscreant, all because I roused a few guards who were pestering me. Harsh. I would have done the same as you. Do you think he will tell me to leave? Ah, Mutia, you do not know him as well as I, so I will only say this. Durwish may appear rough, but he has a soft underbelly. He's only trying to protect you. Still, some retribution is in order. What can we do? What can we do? Ah, tomorrow, when all is quiet, we will sit on a nearby rooftop and stone his walls while he tries to sleep. A brilliant idea. See you later, Basim. <laughs> you are on your own, Basim. 
I do not wish for you to be upset. I took the contract, so I will see it through. I am not upset, Basim. I simply cannot understand why you overlook your own interests to serve theirs. You owe nothing to anyone but yourself. Remember that. This is no contract. It is a favor. I do not work for scraps. Did they say anything else about the ledger? Or why they want it? Uh, I tell you what they tell me, Basim. As always, it's just enough. Why are you asking? Huh? I would like to know just what it is I am contributing to. You have done much in the way of facilitating their endeavors. And so I will speak a word on your behalf. My one caution, and I have been doing this long enough to share it, anyone, anyone who works from the shadows does so only because they must. In the face of looming danger, for example, by working alongside them, we have invited the danger to our door. And we must be very careful not to let it in. Remember to pick up your feet, will you? كان يجب أبداً أن أتورط مع حسن